about all things knitting and everything else I'm currently obsessing about this week. My name is Morgan. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Rambling Needles. Or, you know, maybe I should change my name to Magic Needles as Katie from Jordy Knit said. <laughs> Which I, I enjoyed that very much, so thank you. Um, Rory, as you, if you are a new viewer, welcome. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If you are a returning viewer, viewer. <laughs> you know that I usually have my dog Rory, which she is in here, but we got a new pet and she's currently obsessed with and she's over there somewhere. So maybe she'll make an appearance later. Who knows? <laughs> she does what she wants. Um, let's start off with what I always forget, but I made a note not to forget. I am wearing my Changing Staircases shawl by Tristan of Dragonhorn Yarn, Dragonhorn Designs, um, That Crafty Dragon on YouTube, and the Girls in the Yarn Cafe on YouTube. She's got all the adventures going. <laughs> I always forget to say what I'm wearing, so I, I marked it down. Don't forget. So, this is the one. It is knit out of a um, Bad Wolf Girl Studios. I blanked on that. <laughs> in the What's in It for the Colorway. If you go back a few episodes, I talk all about it because I just finished it. But it's a nice spring shawl. Um, let's start with, it is the first of the month, or technically the third of the month. <laughs> for my filming, you'll see this whatever day Friday is. <laughs> Um, so we'll do the dishcloths that I've knit for this month. So the ends have been woven in yet. It hasn't been washed, but I'm counting it as a finished object. The button um, has been sewn on, but it's still the placeholder. Um, it's the it's the kitchen towel. I got it's a Michael's pattern. I think it's called What? How can I serve you? I want to say. Um, so I did a self striping. The pattern is not solid, but I didn't have salt that I wanted to use on this to test it out. So it's self-striping and then just a random cream and then it'll go across the top and the button comes through and then it hooks on like your stove or the railings. So I really like that. It took me an evening, well two evenings, but I only knit on it for like this much the first evening and then put it down <laughs> and then worked on it again before. It was my bedtime knitting, which is generally dishcloths and things like that, but I, I quite like it. So I'll probably make a few more of those. Leave her alone. That's my life. You can probably hear them. I don't know what they're barking at. I don't really care. It's probably just a squirrel because I live in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Um, dish loss. <laughs> That's where we were. So I have knit. I didn't even count these. One, two. She's back. She's back. Okay, so I've knit six of these, so they're all in the same color, so I only really have to hold up one. Um, I do the uh, grandma's favorite dishcloth pattern where you, so you start at the bottom, work up, and then go back. Um, it's Lily Sugar and Cream. I lost the tag, but I'm pretty sure at the episode I talked about dishcloths last time, which would have been episode six, <laughs> I think six, might have been five or six. Um, I had some of these with the colorway, but I don't know where it's at, and I'm too lazy to go look it up. <laughs> so I've got six of those, so that's this month, and I forgot I have to post my quarterly yarn hoarder dishcloths today. So I have to line up all the ones I've knit this year and post them, because I should keep track of that. They're all in a bin, I just didn't count them. So maybe I'll check on Instagram, you'll know how many I've knit in the first three months of 2019. <laughs> The dog's barking have thrown me off my my course. Okay. Next we will talk about that's the whip pile. This is the, the finish off pile. So let's do I'll do that one last. So one that I finally finished. Are my secret mitts? So I've got those done and they have a thumb and I do have two of them. Both with thumbs. Both ends of, oh, I missed an end. Okay, well, I thought all the ends were woven in. They haven't been cut because I like to block them. They haven't blocked it with the ends in. So when I pull the ends, even though they're woven, they'll pull back to where they need to and then I can just trim them when I'm done. So they are, you are the right hand. Oh, I think about that for a second. So yeah, like the ends have been woven in, but they're still in there. But I quite like them dog hair because the dogs sit in my lap 24 7 so <laughs> but they are finally finished so the only time you'll see the end if I'm wearing them or I decide to make another pair because I had a lot of yarn left over 
I guess not that much, but I mean, these only took, I think, like 20, it was either 28 or 32 grams. I don't remember if that was, the 32 was the the full with the contrast, but I know I if I do contrasting um, cuffs, I'll have enough of the green to do um, a second pair or the time turner pair. So these are the... Secret Mitts by Megan Reagan of Bad Wolf Girl Designs, Bad Wolf Girl Studios, and Bad Wolf Girl Sits and Knits on YouTube. Um, the yarn is Bad Wolf Girl Studios in the Seeker kit in the green colorway, so Slytherin. <laughs> but I really like it. It's very, they're already soft, so I know just blocking them and washing them, they're going to soft up even more, which I'm princessy. I, <laughs> I feel like my shawl fell, because it did. <laughs> Um, but they're super soft. I like soft like this. Super soft. So I can wear it up against my neck. If it was wooly, I couldn't do it. But I have textures. And that was, and still technically is currently living in my Broadway bag from Fate's Thread with all my wrestling pins on it. So we'll set that. And Rory's jerk. She's not here now. She is. She's outside the door. She's going to back in, but I won't let her. <laughs> And then my final finish object this week is the Flax Light. No, that was right. That was right, right around the first time. It doesn't really matter. These don't have a right or wrong. But it knit up. It's so cute. And it's knit out of. So it's a Flax Light by Ten Can Knits. The pattern page is around here somewhere. It fell out of the bag, and I don't know where it went. But I've got it on my phone, so I don't really need it. Um. It's sent out of Purple by Loops and Thread from Michaels. It's the Michaels Fingering brand, Fingering Weight. Loops and Thread is Michaels brand. Fingering is the yarn weight. <laughs> purple is the color weight. If my brain would put things in the order, they should come out. But I got that done. So instead of, I made a few modifications. So the pattern has you do a bind off in pattern, which I did do for the sleeves, but on the body, I wanted it to be able to stretch. So I did a the knit two together one, so it does give it more of a, a ruffle, but once it's on her body, you won't notice it, and even if you do, I don't care. She's not gonna care, it's not gonna look bad. And then what was not technically a modification, just me blinking and being 9.30 on a Saturday night and me wanting to go to bed, I continued down with the ribbing on the sleeves in the body needles and didn't go down to the rib needles for the cuffs, but I don't care. <laughs> They're fine. And like I did the um, the bind off in pattern, so it gives you, I mean, a little bit of stretch when you bind off in pattern, but not much. So I think she doesn't need that much stretch, and her arms are little, so but it's not gonna matter because I did them a little long, so odds are they're gonna get folded over anyways. So it doesn't. But it's done, and it, it's so small and yet so big for her at the same time. I <laughs> so I'm hoping it fits because if it doesn't fit, I'll make her a new one, but I might actually cry. <laughs> It's got these, I sewed at the sleeves two at a time because I didn't want to feel like marking decreases to figure it out even though I only needed to actually do three decreases. So they are the exact same length and you've got my, my little fancy stitch marker. So it's got my, the one at a time um, marker from the Bad Wolf Girl Studios one at a time kit she did. So I'm pretty sure this is a slip, simply serving marker, but it could be wrong. Um, and then this is the adipose from last week. Caitlin was all about that. And then this one I got from my friend Dearney for the Get Your Owners Grinch. She sent me, I don't actually know who it's by, but it's a Supernatural. It's the license plate from season one from Supernatural. I don't know. It's probably glaring because it's silver, but I'll post, I'll post a photo of these, the markers on the sleeve together. They might be in the photo on my Instagram actually because I haven't taken these off because I finished it late Saturday night. Then, um, went to bed. <laughs> And then, um, was it Saturday? Yeah, late Saturday night. Sorry. <laughs> um, and then completely forgot to post finished object photos on Instagram and Ravelry for the uh, Jordy Knits Flax Along. And got them posted on Instagram with like an hour or two to spare. <laughs> but I was sitting there. I was just knitting away on, I think a dishcloth actually, just to be like, I'm done. No more fingering projects. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> just focus on, you know, just palette cleanser basically. And then my brain went, you know, she's like five or six hours ahead of you. That might be over by now. <laughs> and I posted things. I got it in. I was so happy. But yes. 
So it's still got to be, ends have to be woven in, has to be washed and blocked, but it will be done by her birthday, which is Sunday. So I will be done. And I'm hoping to, I'm horrible at finishing object photos. I'm horrible with them. So I'm hoping to get a photo of her in it and then a photo of her brother in his, which I might, I think, I actually think my, his grandpa, my uncle, sent me one. I have to look to put on the project page to see how they look. And if it doesn't fit, you'll just see a photo of me. Ugly crying. <laughs> That's what I worked on. And the flax, it kicked my butt. It was like I'd sit there and I knit and I knit like around. And then go 10 minutes will go by. You have to knit on this. And it was, and I don't know why because I enjoyed the knitting. It wasn't, I, I loved knitting and I wanted to get it done for her and I really liked it. It just for some reason, I don't know. <laughs> I just didn't want to do it. And I got it, I got it done. I got it done plenty of time for the knit along and for her birthday. But it just, I don't know. And then my brain's going, you want to knit a fingering sweater. You have it picked out. Like, you're waiting to buy yarn when you go to the festivals this summer. I'm going, I want to do it. <laughs> where, where are my bulky sweaters? <laughs> so, we'll see. I'm sure I'll do it. But right now, no more fingering white sweaters. And that's bad because that's only the four to six year size. <laughs> I am not a four to six year size. This is, no. This is going to take some yarn. <laughs> Um, alright, <laughs> we'll move on to it. So we'll start with, so since I mentioned the flax along, um, that ended and then Jordy Knits and, uh, Katie Jordy Knits and Laura of The Lonely Knitter are doing a, um, colorwork knit along. So I think it's strand into summer, I want to say, because I want to say spring into summer and that's not right, so it's got to be strand into summer, I think. Um, so anything colorwork. So I, I didn't miss my brother's birthday, but I didn't do anything for it. <laughs> Cause you know, he's, he's the baby brother, you know, but, uh, no, I had a lot going on and I'm like, I'm not even stopping what I'm working on to work on him. Like, ooh, excuse me, hiccups. <laughs> um, so I'm like, I'll just, when I get time, I'll make it. And then I went to make it a couple weeks ago and then they announced that they were going to do this color work thing. And I was like, I'll wait. <laughs> so I, I've cast it on. And it's black yarn, so you can see the dogs. Cause... <laughs> um, so I'm doing the, oh, I should have printed off a picture. I put it on my phone, I didn't think about it. So it's the, um, what we call the fornicating deer hat in, in my family. Which, it's got a name, but I'm not going to say it on this podcast because small children. <laughs> um, but if you go on my Ravelry project page, I have a project for this. And it has the name and the link to all that. So I am knitting that on, it's going to be black yarn, which is just, this is just, um, Red Heart black in the, this is the only skein of black thing I had. And you can see it's got a dollar sticker on it. I got this at the thrift store. And actually I paid less than that because I have a discount card for the thrift store <laughs> through my, um, our energy company does it. So I paid 80 cents for that. Um, but it's just the Red Heart Super Saver black. For some reason, I have two ends sticking out of that. I don't know why. And then this. Now, I had the tag for this at one time. Also got out of the junction. It is probably blowing out like crazy because it is this, like, neon green yellow. I don't know what to call it. Like, if you if you drop a glow stick in Mountain Dew is what it looks like. <laughs> that's, that's the best way to say it. Um, it had, it was Vanna. It was Vanna Choice Yarn, which I think is actually a Lion Brand Yarn. But I just know it had a picture of Vanna on it. And I had the tag because I was originally going to make this a couple months ago and then lost the tag because, you know, that's what you do. It was in a project bag and I set them aside and don't know what happened with the bag. So it doesn't quite fit in here, but it does fit in here. Like, it's one of those, like, I'm not going to probably be taking it anywhere <laughs> to knit on it because it's color work and I don't like to travel with color work. But it fits enough to be together. So it's in my Lila Styles. I realized I didn't say the other name of the bag that the flax was in, and my brain went there. Um, so it's my Lila Styles Bellatrix bag with some Harry Potter and wrestling pins on it. I had to look and see what's on it because I'm hitting two different pins. Um, and then it's just got a bunch of stitch markers on the side, which because the last thing I had in here was color work, but I was able to separate it. That's how I do. It. So if I do color work, and it's multiple charts around. If it's the same chart multiple times around, I separate each thing. So if it's like a 14 stitch chart. Every 14 stitches, I put a marker so I know 
So I know something's wrong by the time I hit the end of that chart. You know, not by the time I knit all the way around. Like if it's a hat or, you know, a sock or something, you get to the end and you're like, oh, I've got two extra stitches I need to knit and I've only got, you know, one stitch left on the needle. So it's much easier to do that thing. So I think this one only does the same chart but twice around, so I only need two stitch markers. Flat spec <laughs> is my um, Amelia X Joy bag in the Supernatural cartoons. That's what I'm playing with Supernatural cartoons. So, so, so. Alright, and then I am working on. This is almost done, and it'll be done by tonight. It'll be done before this goes up. <laughs> but I cast on a unicorn from the um, Rebecca Danger 50 Yards of Fun book. So I started the ear and then set it down for some reason. <laughs> like, it could be done. I read the directions slightly wrong, so it's got a main before it's supposed to have this up here. It was just supposed to do this. And I was like, yeah. And then just kept going. And then I finished. I was like, oh, whatever. So I'll just have to, you know, if it's too much, I can unpick it. It's just um, tassels, so it's not hard. So I'm going to have that. I'm going to make two of these this week. So I'm showing you these now. Um... But I probably won't have it for next week as a finished object because I'm hoping to have it done by Friday to take them to um, where I have the booth and I run because one of the girls there wants unicorns for her. She's got two granddaughters. She has unicorns for her. So I'm hoping to get these done by Friday to have them for her. To give them to her there. So I'll we'll do that. But I got it. So the eyes, I ordered, they're just little safety eyes that I ordered on Amazon. Um, but the yarn in this is... Now I know what it is. It's re it's the Red Heart um, with Love Metallics. So I've just got the white, which is attached to it. There is a gray, which is going to go on the feet. <laughs> um, is that like purple and blue and like a yellowy gold color in it? And then... Okay, well that's the one on the back. <laughs> um, this purple. I got all this yarn at my thrift store this past Saturday when I went um, for 50 cents a thing. So, there's, it's basically no way. And the fiber fill. Which the fiber fill? Did I get the fiber fill for that? No. I've gotten fiber fill there before quite a few times um, for like stupid cheap. <laughs> It is a mess, but it, this, I got, it's big, I mean, this, it's bags, like, this big of fiber fill for, I think it was, like, nine ninety eight at Walmart, and I went through maybe a quarter of it, and that's what I used to fill all the pumpkins, all these stuffed animals I've, you, you know, made, you know, I made, I made a bunch of pumpkins uh, last fall, so, I mean, I've used it to stuff quite a bit of things. <laughs> she wants back in, she's like, getting in. Um, I will talk about the bag in acquisitions, because... It's an acquisition. <laughs> I didn't have it last week. I got it on Saturday. Um, and then my last whip, whips, there's two in here, um, is in my Lila Styles Where's My Owl Harry Potter bag that was part of the Not Going to Rhinebeck, Rhinebeck kit collab thing she did with Dragon Hood Yarn. So it was yarn and then the bag. She has a very sturdy canvas bag, which I like. Um, so they're the same things in here, which I've done. I've done it again. I've cast on more market bags. So this is the yarn I used last time, which was the stained glass colorway from the um, the Lion Brand cotton blend, the cotton 50% cotton, 50% polyester one. So I just, I've only got a few, I've got the base and a few repeats on it um, for that. And it's on size 9, 16 inch needles for this one. And then I got this yarn as well on Saturday at the thrift store. So it is, it's the same thing as Lion Brand, um, the Comfy Cotton Blend. I don't know what the color of the name is. When I looked, I didn't see it at Walmart. But it just doesn't, you know, I didn't have one. I could actually got it online and probably looked it up and see how many colors, but I'm lazy. I don't care. <laughs> it's blue. And then I've got, I think, 10 repeats. And this is on a size 9, um... 24 inch cable, or it ends up being a 26 inch cable because I have size 9, so it's the high high interchangeable. So it's got the you have to add the the larger 
connector. Connector is the word I'm looking for on it. But it still, it still works. It still flows around. So get a couple of those done. So we've got that and then there's just the, the start needles and the crochet hook in the bottom of that bag. But moving around. So these I'm actually, I've cast on two to do. <laughs> and they are going a lot better than the first time I did it because it, for some reason it was it's one of those. It just sat there and stared at me because I didn't want to work on it. But now I want to work on them, so I cast on two. Two is better than one. And it's got my Bad Wolf Girl Studios to pin on here. Oh, nose itches. The cotton, the, the cotton for some reason makes my nose itch. Okay. So I think that was... Yes. Check, check my notes. I've got them here. Alright, you can go over there. So then we are going to move on to... Ooh, that moves. So, oh. Here's a flex light fiber. <laughs> it was in another bag. Um, that It's a free pattern on Ravelry. So if you like fingering white sweaters and want one, um, this is a really good one to start with. So we'll put that back there because I forgot that. So we're going to move on to a sewing segment. Ooh, tap to me in. Um, so I said... I don't remember if it was the last episode or the episode before. I bought Darth Vader fabric that I was super obsessed with. And I turned it into a bag. This is the fabric. I love it. And I think it's glow in the dark. But I'm not going to swear 100% of that, but I'm pretty sure it is. <laughs> um, so I did a lined zipper bag. So it's got the red lining. Um, I did box the box bottoms. Which it's covered in stuff because, you know. I just throw things. <laughs> like, I'm not the best with stuff like this. It sits, like, I throw it in my bag, or it sits in the bed when I'm working on it, or it sits next to me. Like, the yarn gets protected, but the bags never do. <laughs> um, my zipper, it's, it's not the best. This is the first time I've actually sewed a zipper or anything remotely close to this, but I did it. It works for what it's supposed to, and I'm proud of it because, you know, I'm more impressed to myself than I did <laughs> because it, I mean, it took me, like, three hours, but we, we had a slight snafu. I read the directions wrong. Did a, so I did a little tab and then I put this like key ring on it with the clasp thing. I'm calling it a clasp. I can't remember what it's called. Um, and then just a little handle with, it's got this thing. I could have looked at what it was called because I figured the, paper, the uh, package it came in away. But it works. It fits. Um, when I sewed it, this little tab, actually the way I'd set it. I'd watched the video and watched how she set it in, but she had corrected herself and put a little thing, um, what it, like, she didn't say it on the voiceover, she just put a little, um, caption thing on the video. I was listening. I wasn't watching. And thankfully, I got up to sew and I'm like, that looks weird. Like, why, shouldn't that be sticking out, not tucked in between the fabric? <laughs> and so I got back on and I actually watched it. I did. I was like, oh, yeah. So happy I got that. I'd have been so mad if I had to rip back for that. <laughs> but it is. It's my little Darth Vader bag. And I love it. It's a little so now I'm just gonna get some more like cheapy fabric to practice with. Because I've got a lot of this fabric left over, but I want to make a sweater size bag out of it, or at least a large. Because as you can see, the some of the yarn I work with don't quite fit in normal size project bags. So that's that's all I have for sewing this week. I want to get, I'm going to go buy some fabric and make just little drawstring bags to put in my booth to make a bunch of those up to stick in there as reusable um, gift bags is what I see a lot of them are and that is definitely the store that people will buy reusable gift bags at. Okay, and then that brings us on to acquisitions which I kind of talked throughout. So I got this which is holding the unicorns which also all the yarn is acquisitions but you kind of guess that when I said that. <laughs> um, it is my Riverdale Southside Thur Serpent, Serpent. <laughs> Southside Serpents. You cannot say that fast, for me. Uh, bag from Fake Thread, which she does have a little tag. She started putting tags on her bag, which I was super happy about. Even though I know I have memory like no other, so I remember where I get everything. Um, I really like it. I'm super happy with it. And Riverdale. It's Riverdale. So it works. It works, and it matches my, because I got it, and then the next day I was working on it, and I wore my Southside Serpent shirt. And I, yes, I realize I am 25, watching a teen show. I don't care. I love that show. You should watch it. It's awesome. <laughs> and it was matchy-matchy. 
So, but I got that, and I got this. She had it clearance down in her shop because I looked at it a while back, and I'm like, you know, I really, I don't have the money, and I don't need it. And then she did a clearance down sale, and I'm like, well, you know, I don't need it. And then I got a, I had favored it, and then I got an email that says you favored it something. She or it was in my cart or something. Here's ten percent off. I'm like, all right, <laughs> you really want me to have it? I'll have it. <laughs> so I bought it, and it came up. It's got green. Um, what I'm gonna call myself side green fabric on the inside. It's probably not. It's probably way too light for something, <laughs> but I like it. And then I got so I got the yarn. So I got the um, marker back yarn. So I got that ball. Was it a full skein? Um, then I got a ball of the white that I used on the unicorn. A ball of the gray I used on the unicorn. Unicorn. A ball of the um, purple color I used on the unicorn. And then there's a ball of red, which I don't know where. I think it fell out. I know I bought it, but I think it fell out in my car, and I just really haven't went to look for it. <laughs> and then I got so those were all balls. So I got five, like half skeins of yarn, basically what they ended up to be the. I know the uh, market bag yarn comes in 200 gram things, and I had 114 grams when I weighed it. I didn't weigh the others because I didn't care. <laughs> but I got this, which you can see why that makes my no such. <laughs> um, it's just white. It's got my hair on it. Um, of the Lily Sugar and Cream white cone, 100% cotton, cotton yarn. It was in a ball stuck in the bed. So I got this as well. So I got six things. So I got five partial skeins and one full cone that at, I know at Walmart cost me nine dollars because I just had to buy some <laughs> um, at the thrift store. And all together with my discount card because I get twenty percent off certain things there, and yarn is one of them with the discount card. Cost me three dollars even. That's what I said. Check it. So I got basically. This, even if you don't count all the other stuff, even if I only got this, it would still only cost me 50 cents. Check your thrift stores. <laughs> I keep saying it, so I was, I was just kind of digging, and I was like, eh, I saw, you know, the sparkling, and I'm like, ooh, unicorns, you know, threw those in there. And then I stuck my hand down where I couldn't see, and I'm like, that's cotton. And then I couldn't get a grip on it. <laughs> It'd take two hands to pull it out of there. I was like, that, yep. I'm sitting there throwing things looking for more cotton. <laughs> then I found the um, market bag yarn, and I was... That was all I found yet, but they constantly are bringing out new yarn, and I know, I used to work there. I don't know if that was her or her. <laughs> um, so they'll text me, hey, just brought in a whole new tub of yarn, and I only live like four minutes away. So they're like, I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> don't let anybody touch it, I'm coming. So, but that works. And that is... Sorry, she knocked over her water bottle. She's still... I'll show you, you can see her. You'll think I'm weird. Oh, you can't see her now. She went up. I, um, I have pet mice. I think I've talked about that before. But she's just a baby, so she can fit out of the cage. So she has to stay in this cage when I'm not really paying attention to her. I don't know if you can really. She's, she's quick. Um, but I got her yesterday. So the mouse, I had, I had two mice last Tuesday. Um, one had passed away, and the other one is very clingy. So I had to get another one for her. So we're hoping this one, they get along well. <coughs> Excuse me. I've never had a where I've put two in where they haven't gotten along like that. I've had some where they've gotten them together and they haven't really gotten along, but it's not in a, they don't fight. Like, I've never had a bloodbath, which can happen. So, you know, don't do that. <laughs> um, so she's, if you hear any little sounds, it's her. And that's why Rory is going nuts, because she wants to see her and be, like, on top of her. We can't have that. So. Um, I really didn't do anything these last two weeks. I, um, there's been some... My phone. And you left it on. I left it on. Um, we had a bit of a family scare at the end of last week. So, you know, that took up a lot of the weekend, but it wasn't... Everybody's okay now. It, you know, things have got changed, but it was okay. And it wasn't my... Not, you know, it wasn't my parents or any of my siblings. 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 I have two now. <laughs> um, it was a little bit further out. So it, you know, scary. And it's, you know, still somebody close to and still somebody I love, but it wasn't... You know, like my mom. <laughs> um, I, I haven't done anything. <laughs> nah, I, uh, no, I, I you know, other than the normal, like, grocery shopping and going to Walmart and stuff like that. <laughs> um, I do want to talk a little bit. I think I've only got about three months left on the memory card, so I mentioned it. April is Autism Awareness Month, and I think I mentioned it before. I put a post on my Instagram, if not. Um, I have Asperger's, which is 
um, autism. It's on the spectrum. There's so autism. Autism is a spectrum, and I fall more on the high functioning side. But it's still, it's still have it. and it's with girls especially. It's a lot harder to diagnose. So the most people think autism is like a boy thing, but it's not. Anybody of any gender, shape, form, race, you know, anything can, anybody can be autistic. It's not, they don't know what causes it. They're not, some people call it, call it a disease. It's not. And it aggravates me when I hear that. That's like, um, there's a group out there called Autism Speak. They do not speak for autistic people. Don't go to their website. <laughs> it's all I really want to say is stay away from autism speaks. Well, thank you for sticking with me as I ramble and forget all the things this week. <laughs> um, I will see everybody next week. And totally blanked. Bye. <laughs> I was going to say something and it stopped. My brain was like, say something, but it wouldn't tell me what I wanted to say. <laughs>